Hey, what is up everyone? I hope all of you are doing great. And in today's question, we have a conducting rod of mass M and length L is suspended horizontally with the help of two identical non-conducting springs, each of stiffness K in a uniform horizontal magnetic field. As you can see in the diagram, so these are the two springs. This is the conducting rod. Okay, the rod can slide between two fixed frictionless vertical conducting guides and an uncharged capacitor of capacitance C is connected between the, between the guides as shown in the figure. We need to find the period of oscillations of the rod. We need to neglect the resistance and inductance in the circuit and assume that acceleration of free fall to be G. Okay. So, let us first draw the situation when the rod is in equilibrium state. So, both the strings oh sorry both the springs are in stretched condition let that stretching for each spring be x naught, gravity is acting downwards. Okay, so in equilibrium condition, we can write 2k x naught equals mg. Fine. So this will be our first equation. So, and uh, let us just uh, displace the rod slightly from its equilibrium position. Okay, and release it. So after that, it will perform a simple harmonic motion. So at any instant of time let the displacement be y gravity is acting downwards okay and stretching of the spring was initially x naught uh, let me write it as y naught because the displacement is in vertical direction okay so y naught so the final stretching of the spring is y naught plus y so at this instant the rod will have some velocity v and due to this velocity the conducting rod will behave as a battery with negative terminal here and the positive terminal here because there is some constant uniform magnetic field coming out of the plane of paper okay and we know that a moving conductor having a velocity v will behave as a battery and this battery is connected to a capacitor and this will result in charging of this capacitor by some amount so, the moving conductor in presence of a magnetic field will behave as a battery of EMF BVL okay? and due to this the energy that will be stored inside the capacitor will be half C BVL whole square. Okay? Fine. So, let us write down the equation of energy for the whole system as we know that all the forces here are conservative forces. Hence, the total energy of the system will remain constant. So, the energy will consist of the spring potential energy. So, that would be half times 2k. Initial stretching was y naught. At any instant, it will be y naught plus y minus gravitational potential energy. Okay, The kinetic energy of the rod, the potential energy that is stored inside the capacitor will also be there. Okay and this whole energy will be constant. Now, if you differentiate this whole energy with respect to time, we will get 2 k y naught plus y. There will be another term dy dt that is nothing but the velocity minus m g dy dt that is v plus m v dv dt that would be the acceleration plus c b square l square v dv dt again the acceleration equals to 0. So, the v gets cancelled out from each of the terms. So, we have 2 k y naught 2 k y minus m g plus m a plus c b square l square a equals to 0. From the equilibrium equation, we can just eliminate these two terms. So, finally, we have a equals minus 2 k divided by m plus c b square l square times y. So, we can compare this equation with our traditional equation for simple harmonic motion that is a equals minus omega square y where omega is the angular frequency. So, the final form of time period would be 2 pi divided by omega that gives you 2 pi root over m plus c b square l square divided by 2 k. So, this is the final expression for time period of this whole structure. Okay. 
So I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and share this video with your friends and teachers. Okay. See you in the next video. Good luck. Peace.